You're watching Community Conversations, a Conquer TV production. Hello, thank you for tuning in to Community Conversations, a program and podcast by Concord TV. I'm Doris Ballard, your host, and today we're going to catch up again with what's happening in August for the rest of the month at the Concord City Library. Lots going on. So, all right, and my guest today is Nicole Schultz. She was Nicole Prokop last time, but you <laughs> got married. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, this is wonderful. Your first program with me as a married lady. Yes. And so we're excited to have you I'm on. I'm so excited to be back. It's been too long. I know. <laughs> it's great. Well, I, I've got two full pages of notes here of everything that's going on. So let's talk first about the things that people uh, unfortunately might miss mm. because um, by the time this airs on the channel, it's already have taken place, but stay tuned. There's a lot, a lot more coming uh, for the rest of the month of August. So the book bingo bash is something you do every summer? Uh, we don't do it every summer, but we do summer reading every mm -hmm. summer. Yes. So this is sort of new. We changed the way that we do summer reading for adults and teens mm -hmm. for the past two summers. Um, so what we do is book bingo, and there's just a large bingo card with various uh, reading requirements on the card. So as adults and teens read books that match the requirements, they get raffle prizes. Wow. So then we have a bash at the end of the summer, and tomorrow we're doing ice cream, make your own ice cream Sundays out on the library lawn, uh, and we are giving out raffle prizes. That's great. Yeah. All right. So um, look for that. Something like that next summer, right? Yeah, okay. definitely. We will bring book yeah. bingo back. It will be we do winter book bingo mm -hmm. too. So, right around oh, the wonderful. corner, sadly. And then <laughs> teen movie night at uh, the Bose uh, in Bose Baker Free Library mm -hmm. is happening um, the Friday the eighteenth at five thirty. And uh, there's pizza, popcorn, and uh, how often do you do something like this with the Baker Free Library? This is very new. One of the librarians mm -hmm. at Baker Free Library reached out to me and uh, one of the librarians at Hooksa and said, let's do something for our teens since all of us are so close. Um, so this will be the second movie uh, that we're showing this summer, that they're showing at Bo. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, pizza before the movie. It's Ghostbusters this month. And great popcorn, movie. et cetera, yes. Yeah. And it's at night, yeah, so it's great. Fun. And uh, it's free? It's free, always, yeah. All right, that's great. All right, so now that we know that on Friday the 18th, uh, there are all these great things are happening, um, we can move on to the things that are happening when this program is airing <laughs> so people can watch it. So good job. But you are the Adult Services and Outreach Coordinator, so you've been doing a lot of outreach, Nicole. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. That's Thank great. Thank you. Yeah. We've been out there a lot this we summer. We have. We have. Uh, all right. Well, I want to talk about this big deal that's happening Monday on the 21st. Apparently, there's a solar eclipse coming. There is. And you've been pretty busy. Tell us why. Yeah. So the word has spread that many public libraries are giving out solar eclipse glasses. You need special glasses to right. view the eclipse. Um, so we, in preparation for this, bought a certain number of solar eclipse glasses for our Concord patrons, and a very friendly local um, business owner also donated some. That's great. And we gave those out, I think we started giving them out at the beginning of August, and we were out within a week. So we are hoping, they're very, mm -hmm. very difficult to come by, but we're hoping to have some more to hand yeah. out tomorrow, after, starting tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Um, again, for Concord patrons. Mm -hmm. So it's just, a, it's just a service. People all over Concord are looking for these things, all over New Hampshire. Wow. So we've had a lot of phone calls. Yeah. And so um, the eclipse is going to be happening on Monday, mm -hmm. and um, people want the glasses how can they call? Because this They'll is probably going to be in. airing on Monday if there's any left, right? Oh, right. Yeah. There might be some left on uh -huh. Monday. Never um, know. Okay. Yeah. But don't look at it without the glasses. Yes. Okay. And I'm sure mo a lot of people have been able to get their hands on glasses. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I believe that the peak is towards that, like 2.45 to 3 o'clock is when the biggest impact will be seen in really? the, our area. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's a big event. 
people going to be rushing out of work? And I think I know we will be. Up, yeah, right? I know. Yeah, and we've been using our three D printer to print. Um, it's just a certain way to view the eclipse without looking directly yeah. at the sun. It has like a pinhole and. It, People might remember making these back in kindergarten or elementary school, but we've been printing them. That, yeah, right? <laughs> we've been printing them on our three D printer, so we'll okay. have those. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, if you're just tuning in, this is Community Conversations, a program, a TV program that airs on uh, uh, Channel Twenty Two and on Concord, and we also have a podcast, and um, it also, I believe, yes, it's, it's running on our government channel, oh, Seven Nineteen. Nice. Yes. Okay. Hoopla, the library's new digital media service. Um, here to tell us about that and all the rest, if you're just tuning in, is Nicole Schultz, and she is the Adult Services and Outreach Coordinator for the Concord City Library. Hoopla is a library's new digital media service. Mm -hmm. You can see movies, mm -hmm. you get music, ebooks, audiobooks, and graphic novels. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. So it's an app. Um, and you need your library card to mm -hmm. sign up for it. Uh -huh. But once you do, and it's very easy to sign up, um, and we're always there to help if anyone has questions about that. Uh, but once you do, you have access to everything you just said. So new movies, old movies, new music, um, audiobooks, ebooks. It's just another uh, way to deliver these digital resources mm -hmm. to the Concord community, and all for free. So it's wow. really amazing. So yes, if, if you're into ebooks mm -hmm. or if you're into audiobooks, this is really great because often the statewide um, service, Overdrive, you know, the most popular titles, there's often waits for them. I was waiting for a title. We got Hoopla. I signed up for it. I found the title on Hoopla and I was able to check it out immediately. So great. both services are great. Mm -hmm. um, Overdrive is still wonderful, but it's just another way to get yeah. the content. Um, on your phone. And there's no waiting times. You can, users can borrow up to five titles per month. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. But you need a, a library card. You do need a library so card. So it's easy enough. So what people come in for a library card, do they need anything? What do they? So when people, yeah. yes, when Concord residents uh, would like to sign up for a library card, they need their photo, a photo ID mm -hmm. of, of any sort and proof of um, that they their live, address is in Concord. In Concord. So, so if you're a licensed, bill or something? a bill, yeah, yeah, or if your license says you live in Concord, then you're fine. You, you just need your license, yeah. and okay. that's most often the case. Right. But. right. That's great. Easy yeah. enough. Okay. And it's free for Concord residents. Free. Period. Okay. Uh, all right. So Concord Reads. Now you're looking to find out what the Concord community wants to read for 2018 for the mm -hmm. Concord Reads program. First yes. of all, what is the Concord Reads program? So Concord Reads is a citywide literary program um, and what happens is every year or at least the past few years in this upcoming year we announce the title the library announces the title that we would love for everyone mm -hmm. in the Concord community to read we do programming around the book and we also invite the author to speak in Concord usually at Red River Theater um, towards the end of the program so we will announce the title again in late January and uh, the author will most likely be here in early spring. Yeah. Um, so we want to know what people are reading. We want to know, you know, what people think their neighbors should read. Mm -hmm. um, and it really can be anything, newer books, older books, fiction, nonfiction. We love to hear from local authors. So um, if you've read a local author lately and you were just totally wowed by it, we want to hear about that. So. Great. All right. So uh, the internet is conqueredpubliclibrary.net backslash Concord Reads. Yes, there's okay. a form there. So mm -hmm. if anyone wants to uh, recommend a book, there's an online form. And, and there'll be suggestion boxes yes. uh, throughout the city, including mm -hmm. the library. So I understand at Gibson's bookstore, mm -hmm. uh, Area 23. Yes, which you have a beer, right. submit a book recommendation. And, <laughs> and Red River Theater is. Red River, th yep. That's great. Yeah. And one here at the high school, too. At the high school. Yeah. Where Concord TV is located, in case <laughs> you didn't know that. All right. Uh, okay, so, wow, so much going on. Uh, Wings of the Dawn Wildlife. That's happening Thursday at 6 p.m., um, August 23rd. No, Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, mm -hmm. August 23rd. And uh, Wings of Dawn Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that. 
And Bird Sanctuary is managed by Marie Maria uh, mm -hmm. Colby in Henniker. Mm -hmm. And uh, the center seeks to provide the best wildlife rehabilitation services possible to injured and orphaned wildlife. Yeah. So what can people expect uh, to learn when they come to the Wings of Dawn wildlife presentation? So Maria will talk about what she does, um, and she will also talk about the birds and other wildlife that she has. Um, and I think what really pulls people is not only this opportunity to learn about all that, but she will have live animals. So, mm. yeah, so we'll have some beautiful birds in the library. That's great. Uh, yeah, we're very excited yeah. for that. So, I mean, school starts, I believe, August 30th? Yeah. Yes. So there, that's still something really cool for for uh, families it's to do. It's definitely open to families, mm -hmm. yet we're not identifying it as a children's program or an adult program. It's, mm -hmm. it's for everyone. Right. It really is. So. Great. Yeah. Um, and Tuesday, uh, the 29th, do I have that day right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at 7 p.m. And now, by the way, you can go on the website of the yeah, library so and find all Yeah, so all of this is on that. our calendar, but we're also mm -hmm. always posting about these things on social media as right, well. Right, right. So, so go on Facebook? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Right. Yeah. And Concord Library? ConcordPublicLibrary.net. Okay. Oh, for the website, yeah. So yeah. we are easy but to find on all of those platforms, yeah. yeah. All right, so on the 29th, Wiles of New Hampshire Trivia Night at Area 23. Now, there's another outreach that you're doing. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who don't know where Area 23 is, that's... Uh, it's in the Smokestack, Smokestack building. Smokestack Center, yes. heading toward uh, Fitzgerald Road and then yes, North Yes, heading State towards Penacook. I'm still learning yeah, Concord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so street names. I'm like, right. North Main Street. I you know where the prison is. <laughs> it's across the street. Across the street from the prison. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> hard to miss the Smokestack Center. And um, so the library and the Society for the Protection of New Hampshire State Forests, you're another partnership. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, for a night of competitive trivia. Hosted by Area 23. Mm -hmm. So, um, what kind of trivia is going to be? Is it about so New Hampshire? Or yes. Yeah. So it'll be about New Hampshire mm -hmm. animals, New mm -hmm. Hampshire uh, plants. He'll Dave Anderson, who is the director for education at the Forest Society, mm -hmm. um, knows everything. He's amazing. We've had him at the library before. He did a trivia night at the library, and we thought, let's bring this out into the community, you know, where people can have a drink and also do trivia. He did something similar at True Brew Barista last Great. spring. He's wonderful. So he has photos, uh, so people will be identifying peaks, uh, ski areas, and like I said, the wildlife, the plants of New Hampshire. And Kirk, who owns Area 23, does a trivia night every Tuesday. It's very popular. Mm -hmm. uh, so people go to Area 23, and we're just sort of, Taking over. Ah, yeah. that's great. Yeah, oh, just for the night. Good. You're going around town. Yeah, yeah. Hey. it's fun. It's very fun. Uh, this is something I probably should go to Map and Compass Basic Navigational oh, yeah. Workshop. I wouldn't know how to use a compass. If yeah. I, my life depended on it, so I might talk to us about that. That's happening on uh, the August 31st at mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. and it's the New Hampshire Appalachian Mountain Club that are hosting it, yes? Yes, the AMC. Right. Uh, we often have programs that are hosted by the AMC. They have wonderful educational mm -hmm. programs, and it is a Thursday. I got that one right, so it is <laughs> Thursday, <laughs> the 31st, and we are asking that people register for this program and bring their own compass oh. and, and White Mountain Trail Guide if they have one. Mm -hmm. uh, so they will actually be talking people through planning a hike through the White Mountains oh, um, and how to, you know, do that in a navigationally correct way. So, <laughs> yeah. so you don't get lost and you know where you are. My God, very important. Really in the important, ways, right? Very important. And we so, already have, yeah. we have a few spots open. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? About, so it's yeah, filling up. We have quite a few people mm -hmm. signed up already. So ConcordPublicLibrary.net better register pretty soon or call 225-8670 extension 2. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. To register online. So hurry, hurry and get that, uh, get a seat for the Map and Compass basic navigational workshop and um, bring it be prepared as you said as mm -hmm. people said to bring a compass and a map mm -hmm. preferably a white mountain map of the presidential range yes okay yeah we're getting pretty mm -hmm. specific there but yeah um, if you don't have that that's totally okay. fine yeah all right still definitely invited to come to the program
program. Now we're getting into some fun stuff. Uh, black bear happenings in New Hampshire. Yes. I want to know what's happening with black bears in New so Hampshire, does especially everyone if you're else. a hiker. <laughs> Seriously. I know it. Everyone is very curious about oh, really? black bears lately. So that's Wednesday, September 9th, uh, September 13th at 6 p.m. Yes. Oh, you were going to say? I'm sorry. Um, no, yeah. I was just saying it's, you know, black bears, everything. There's been a lot of talk about black bears in New Hampshire right. because, um, yeah, of various <laughs> happenings around the state. So, so people are curious. Yeah, because they're appearing in people's, right, right, yeah. you know, yards, yeah. backyards. And, yep. uh, so they're becoming more, they're coming closer to I, the population. I don't know if that's <laughs> happening all over, but there was that one situation mm -hmm. where right. Governor Sununu popped in and said, let's save this black bear family. So Aww. so it was just the talk yeah, of the yeah. news for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but people are always curious about black bears around here. It's a New mm -hmm. England thing, I think. So yeah. these people are going to, um, they are from the US Government Sports Fish and Wildlife Restoration Program. Um, and they will be uh, talking about black bears. And uh, there might be some misconceptions about how to deal with the mac with a bear if you come across one, if you're I hiking believe or something, I bet. Mm, probably. Yeah. So, and there's no <laughs> registrations required to attend No, that. this is open. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's made possible thanks to the generosity of the United States Government Sports, Sports Fish and Wildlife Restoration mm -hmm. Program. Yeah, right. the um, two men who are doing the program are from the New Hampshire Fish and Game. So. Mm -hmm. So, Black Bear Happenings in New Hampshire, Wednesday, September 13th, 6 p.m., the Concord Library. You'll learn about their behavior, habitat, and their life cycle. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how we can all cohabitate in the uh, yeah, trails. Peacefully. Peacefully and safely. Yeah, right? it sounds like and you and I should probably go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go on a uh, trail, I think that I will do the compass thing. <laughs> and I'll learn and more about the Black Bear Happenings. Yeah. Happened to watch a movie the other day about a couple that went hiking in the middle of the woods and were not prepared for a black bear. Was so, this, oh, for a yeah. black bear? Mm. Okay. For a bear. A bear. Okay. I mean, you know. If it was on the West Coast somewhere. It wasn't there. around here. So <laughs> okay. <it's not> here. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, and lots with the kids. I mean, you have a new, yes. a new pause for pages. We dog. have a new dog. Yeah. Gypsy. Yeah. Talk so, about Gypsy. Um, as school starts back up, we sort of lighten up the programming with children's just for the month of September, so that people can get back into the rhythm of things. But we do have our regular program, so we still have our story times mm -hmm. three times a week, and we have pause for pages, which is um, when the dog a reading dog is in the library and kids who are learning how to read get the opportunity to read to the dog read aloud right. so it just helps them be more confident in their reading yeah. etc so gypsy who is a rescue a greyhound rescue oh wonderful she's she is she's wonderful she's adorable mm -hmm. and like very calm and so now, does gypsy replace the one you had before no we have you, three now you have three so we've added a yes so, so and the so their names are Mr. T, Millie, and Gypsy. So you have Mr. A male? T's like this big. Oh really? Yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> and do they I don't know what kind do of they just sit there and listen? Yes, to, they lay there and that's, listen. That yeah. is so great. Yeah, that's and they great. love to interact. So mm -hmm. of course the entire library staff goes and says hi every time <laughs> they're in the building. Which is so we do have pause for pages once a week, and mm -hmm. during one week we have two pause right. for pages. So every other Tuesday at 3.30 mm -hmm. at the Concord City Library. Yep, that's pause when Gypsy's there. Pause for pages, P-A-W-S, yes. of course. Yes. Pause. Yes. All right, I've gone through it very quickly, but um, what, what as, as you're just tuning in, Nicole Schultz, our Adult Services and Outreach Coordinator for the uh, Concord Public Library, and she comes in maybe once a month with us. We mm -hmm. love having you here to yeah. talk about all the exciting things that are happening at the Concord City Library. It's wonderful. And uh, this is a program of Concord TV, Community Conversations. And uh, did we miss anything? I mean... So what I yeah. didn't include um, is our regular programming that we have monthly, because we've talked about it, uh, but we do have some, some exciting stuff coming up. We have our Books and Brew book club. Mm -hmm. Um, which takes place at True Brew Barista True. once a month. Uh, but they are actually having their two-year anniversary 
the Books and Brew group. Wonderful. Which isn't the same every mm -hmm. every month. We always get new people coming, and we love to see new faces. Uh, but for what month are we in? For September's, mm -hmm. we'll be giving out little goodie bags to celebrate our two-year anniversary. So they'll have a coffee cup and some bookmarks and, you know, goodies. And then um, our coloring night, our adult coloring night, which happens the second Tuesday of every month mm -hmm. at the library. We always get a big crowd for that. Uh, they're also celebrating an anniversary. Wow. So uh, Sharon, the woman who runs it, will be giving out various prizes. So she's already got some fun things. Like, That's great. Yeah, she's nice. got gel pens and some gift certificates and so with the, snacks. the coloring night, do people bring their own coloring pages or do you provide They can, that? but we provide mm -hmm. the pages and they're just, mm -hmm. uh, it's a variety. So she had the program a couple, it was last week, and um, she, was, she showed me some of the coloring pages and one of them was of Patrick Swayze. No. And one of them really? <laughs> was of, um, really? yeah, like a unicorn in the middle of yeah. the woods. So <laughs> there's a variety. Patrick Swayze was a unicorn? No, one oh. was Patrick well, Swayze. Oh, one was a unicorn. So you don't have to color Patrick Well, that would Swayze. be very interesting to have Patrick Swayze on I a unicorn. I thought so, too. <laughs> oh, hey, you God could bless color him. both of them and Patrick take them both home, yeah. Anyway, so the library is... Um, how are you seeing uh, growth? Are people starting to understand uh, and, re and realizing how many opportunities there are at the library for families? Yeah, we think so, definitely. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of talk about various age groups using the library, and we definitely see a lot of millennials in the library. That's great. Um, we have things that they want. You know, we have Wi-Fi, and we have all of these digital resources, including Hoopla, the new resource. Hoopla. H O P L A. Right, right. A lot of people don't get cable anymore. It's just it's a different world, and ah. now they have access to TV shows mm -hmm. via their library. So, I think a lot of people are figuring that out. We've seen attendance at our programs mm -hmm. um, increase. We just we have a lot of fun stuff going. That's on. Great. So, That's great. Yeah. That's great. All right. Any final parting words before we close? For the day? Yes. As always, I try to encourage people to follow us on our social media. Mm -hmm. uh, we're posting. We don't inundate you, but we just have a lot of fun um, with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We definitely are highlighting our programs, but you know we're also sort of giving inside views of the library. For example, this morning, our, the library is currently being, the ceiling on the main floor is being painted. Oh. So we have a scissor mm -hmm. lift, and we have painters, and this mm -hmm. has been the whole week. So we got uh, hard hats, <laughs> little I kid hard yeah. hats, and put CPL, and we posed with the painters and took a bunch of photos. Oh, what and a great those idea. are on That's social awesome. media. So. Yeah, yeah, it's just fun. So you Concord, get to look into what we're doing. Concord Library. Yeah, so yeah, just, just look for Google. Concord, yeah, New Hampshire yeah, Library. Concord, Hampshire Not Hampshire. Yeah, no, go Concord, Concord Massachusetts. Both, right. It's fine. But. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no competition. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Nicole thank Schultz. Thank you. Uh, outreach, um, Adult Services and Outreach Coordinator for the Concord Public Library. We love having you on. Thank you. And again, congratulations for your um, you. wedding. And uh Thank you for tuning in to Community Conversations or listening on our podcast if you uh, are lucky enough to catch it. And um, check in with us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, Concord and H uh, TV. And we want to stay in touch with you, and we are your station. If you want to do a program like this, you can do a program like this. Just give us a call. I'm sure that Melissa would be happy to talk to you about our producer support program. And by the way, Melissa is our director today. So this is Gal Power. Yes. And I have to give a kudos to Emmett Collins who's <laughs> doing the audio. So <laughs> yeah. thank you again, Nicole. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you again and have a great day. Bye now. You're watching Community Conversations, a Concord TV production.